Should I have pricing on my website? That is a big fat no. <laughs> Do not have pricing on your website. Uh, I would say in pretty much every industry that's out there, uh, price is going to be the number one reason why somebody calls or contacts you, calls, emails, text messages. Um, yeah, it's going to be the number one reason why somebody does that. So if you put pricing on your website, uh, it makes people a lot less likely to uh, want to call you up and, and you know possibly give you a chance to get their business. Uh, obviously, if you're talking to somebody on the phone, you have a much bigger chance of getting their business, obviously. So, you know, you want somebody to call, you want somebody to contact you, so you have a, an ability to, uh, you know, sell your product, sell your service. So when you don't have pricing on your website, you know, they might just call the next company and then the, the you know, that person sells them and then you miss out on your opportunity. The only companies that I know of that put pricing on their website and do it willingly is companies that are really busy, companies that are at full capacity with whatever service or product they have. Um, you know, the product is hard to get, they don't have much inventory, and you know, for them, their you know, time matters more to them. Some companies, they're at full capacity with their service and they can't take on any more work, so they don't, they don't mind having pricing on their website because they don't want people to call up and asking about the price. For them, that's a bad thing because their, you know, their capacity is almost full and they don't want these people to waste their time. So it just depends on where you're at, but if you're somebody that's looking for more customers and, and hoping to make more money, you have the capacity to do it, uh, I highly recommend that you do not put pricing on your website because that will um, you know, be a reason why that you get less phone calls than you should be.